Hey, good afternoon. It's Chris Potter. It's February 8th, 2017. I have a new presentation for you. Are there large objects close to the sun? A physicist's thoughts. Let's begin. Hope you're having a great day there, boo. The song today is Time by Hans Zimmer. It's actually from the Inception original motion picture soundtrack. On January 29th, the sun had what seemed to be at first a small CME, coronal mass ejection, visible in these stereo A core 2 images as shown in figure 1 below. But as the apparent CME occurred, and which is indicated by the blue arrows here, which moved outwards from the sun, obviously, a dark circular mass or object, that word's being used very loosely here, became visible within the CME. Figure 2, Stereo A Core 2 images from January 29, 2017 at 824, showing a circular object moving away from the sun in what seems to be a CME on the right and is zoomed in view of the objects shown and the image on the left. Now, figure two shows the 824, okay, excuse me, figure three below shows the 824 or fifth image in figure one. On the left is an expanded version of the 824 image in figure one. On the right is an image providing a zoomed in view of the object of interest. The object clearly has a circular outline. It does not therefore seem to be produced by the plasma being ejected from the sun. The object's circular outline is visible and all the images detected by core two from the time the object is first visible. 609 and the images shown in figure one until it leaves the frame suggesting suggesting that it's a solid object the object also seems to be at least the same size of the sun guesstimate the size of the sun is indicated by the white circle at the center of the occulting disk figure three Stereo A core two images from January 29, 2017 and 924, 1039, 1139, 1239, 1309, and 1439. Showing that the circular object moving away from the sun retains its circular shape until it leaves the frame. Since core two objects, excuse me, since CORE-2 detects objects between 2 and 15 radii from the sun, we can conclude that the object, or plasma ball, or cheese sandwich, travels roughly 13 solar radii, or 9 million kilometers, in about 8 hours. So it traveled roughly at 1.1 kilometers per hour, or 314 kilometers per second. And this is about the same speed as the solar wind. It could be that the object was ejected by and carried away from it with the CME. In conclusion, a circular solid object about the same size of the sun is seen moving away from the sun on January 29, 2017. Figure four, stereo A, Core 2 images from August 18, 2014 at 2354 on the left and from January 29, 2017 at 1639 on the right. Again, a dark circular mass and its outline is visible in the right image but not on the left. But this is not the end of the story because another circular, even darker outline is visible in all of the images shown in figure one to in figures one to three, excuse me, below the sun. 
figure four below, okay, shows stereo A core two images from 2014 and 2017. The dark circular outline is not present in the 2014 image, but it is present in the 2017 image. It is indicated by a blue arrow in the 2017 image on the right of figure four. The dark circular shape actually appeared in Stereo Core 2 images on April 4th, 2015. Figure five below shows Stereo A Core 2 images from April 4th, 2015 and 1654 and 1709. These Core 2 images are detected every 15 minutes. So these are actually consecutive images. The dark brown shape isn't visible in the left image, but it is visible in the image on the right, detected roughly 15 minutes later. Now notice that the two occulting rings were used in the image on the right of figure five. What made the use of two occulting rings necessary? Or was this a software rendering glitch? Was the sun affected by a large object to such an extent that it moved it out of position? The dark outline indicated by the blue arrow has been in that position, position excuse me, since April 4th, 2015. Figure 5. Stereo A core 2 images from April 4th, 2015 to 1654 on the left and 1709 on your right. A dark circular outline appears for the first time in the right image. Blue arrow. A small dark spot, yellow arrow, is visible in the left image, and the same mark green arrows appear in both image, but with different positions. Okay, is this some type of a software rendering glitch? Or is this something else? Okay, notice that a smaller dark spot is visible in the left image, indicated by a yellow arrow. The dark spot is not a permanent feature in all the Core 2 images up until April 4th, 2014, and it's not visible in the left image in Figure 4. However, it did appear in many of the images up until April 4th, 2014, as shown in Figure 7 below. There is another mark on all the Core 2 images, which is indicated by green arrows like in figure five, the mark has been in all the images since Stereo A started sending Core 2 images to Earth. So it's likely to be a part of the detector background rather than the result of an object being close to the sun. But this permanent mark is not in the same position in both images in figure five. So, however, right, if the left image is rotated by 180 degrees, the mark indicated by that green arrow then it appears in the same position as in the image on the right. That would imply like some type of a software rendering glitch or technical issue, right? Figure six below shows the same two images as in figure five, but with the left image rotated by 180 degrees. Now the images have the same orientation, but notice that black little spot in the left image and the darker shape in the right image, they don't appear in the same position. Thus, the dark outline that appears on April 4, 2014, and has been there ever since, cannot be related to the dark spot that appears in certain images before April 4, 2014. Figure 6, same Stereo A Core 2 images from April 4, 2015 at 1654 on the left and 1709 on the right, appearing in Figure 5 above. The image on the left has been rotated by 180 degrees so that the mark indicated by the green arrow is in the same position of both images. Okay, gotcha. The dark circular outline and the dark spot are in different positions and cannot therefore be related to one another. Okay, so figure seven. Stereo A Core 2 images from June 12th, July 10th, October 2nd, October 30th, 2013 at 4.54. A dark spot indicated by a blue arrow is visible in all images. Hmm. Figure 8. Stereo Core 1 images from January 4th, 2013 
January 31st, 2014, March 28th, 2014, all at 13.05, and April 4th, 2014, and 6.54. The Core 1 images seem to get progressively darker over this time period. Now, something happened to the sun on April 4th, 2014 that gave rise to the permanent dark circular outline being permanently attached to the sun. Well, it should be visible in the core, Im core one images as well. Excuse me. But as seen in figure eight, core one images can have a lot of dark shadows around the occulting disk. Interesting. Which makes it difficult to identify a dark mass appearing in them. However, what figure eight shows is that the sun darkened again significantly between January 4th, 2013, the first image in figure eight and April 4th, 2014, which is the last image of figure eight. Gotcha, okay. Was the darkening effect due to an object approaching the sun and draining of its energy? Well, the evidence is inconclusive. However, we look at the SDO images shown in figure 9 below, we can clearly see that the sun has weakened significantly in the last three years. Or is it the equipment? I mean, is it dying? The equipment. Is the equipment dying that's filming it? The first image in figure 9 is from February 7, 2015. The middle image is from February 7, 2016. And the image on the right is from February 6, 2017. So if I misread that, excuse me, but it's February 7th, so 2015, 16, and 17, all right next to one another here in the image below, figure nine. All right. The size of the corona decreases between the first and second images, but the decrease is dramatic between the middle and last image, i.e. there is a dramatic decrease in the size of the corona between the 2016 and 2017 images. The coronal hole at the sun's south pole also increases in size between, its, between the first 2015 and second 2016 images. But again, the difference between the second 2016 and third 2017 images is dramatic. The now permanent coronal hole at the sun's south pole has grown dramatically in size. The sun has also darkened significantly between the 2016 and 2017 image. In fact, the sun now looks like it has hardly any corona left. I do want to make a point from a technical point of view. If this is a satellite in space filming our solar system and the sun, right, and different planets, so in this instance, the sun in different wavelengths, right? Like in here, it's 21.1 nanometer ultraviolet wavelength. And the equipment's like dying out. I could see it giving us misreadings, right? And I can also see the different software rendering issues, etc. We'll just classify it under technical issues. Holy cow, absolutely, because... It's broadcasting from deep space back to Earth, right? Um, I can't even believe the process works at all. It's amazing that we can look at this big guy. He's a big glowing being. He's so cool looking. These pictures, seriously, look at how cute he is of a son. Yeah, I love him. But no, seriously though, like so if the, if the camera and the friggin' equipment's dying, Right? They could be giving us bad readings, too. I totally understand that. That it might actually be something like that, too. What if it's not? That's the other side, right? Just a thought. Um, and I don't know, officially, if NASA said, hey, we got to go fix these things or replace them because they're having issues. I do know of folks that have contacted NASA directly about certain images. And NASA will get back to you even right then even in like a Skype, and tell you what actually happened, right? And they'll actually find out for you if there's a particular image in question. Seriously. Uh, okay. Now, it could be that the sun 
it's obvious darkening is due that the solar maximum, okay, being in 2014 and 2017 being three years later. So that could be a factor. The sun also looks weak in 2011, but if we compare the 2011 weak sun and the 2017 weak sun, we can see that the 2017 sun looks much weaker than the 2011 sun as illustrated in figure 10 below. Figure 10, images of the sun is provided by SDO and the 21.1 nanometer ultraviolet wavelength on uh, February 7, 2011 at 722 on the right and February 6, 2017 at 1814. The sun is much darker in the 2017 image and the sun's corona is darker and completely gone from the sun's north pole. It is interesting that the sun has a permanent coronal hole at its south pole and that the current stereo A core 2 images always show a dark outline at the sun's south pole. This dark outline may be due to a dark object. Perhaps a brown dwarf star that has approached the sun and may have settled in a position close to the sun's south pole like its orbit or that dark outline may be due to a connection to a brown dwarf that's straining the sun of energy, but farther away. We do know that certain objects very likely to be brown dwarf stars are closely approaching the sun, potentially and allegedly, and causing it to stop emitting light and also jolt it out of position. Or this is all technical issues, and that's it. In conclusion, the sun has been in been getting darker and weaker or the the equipment is phasing out on us and giving us bad readings if it's not the darkening effect has been the most dramatic in the last year this suggests that the brown dwarf stars potentially allegedly which i have written about in previous articles and which periodically loop around the sun their orbits around the sun are having a progressive weakening effect on our star our sun and this effect seems to have accelerated in the last year. Physicist Thoughts, Chris Potter, have a great day and thanks again. Hey, good afternoon, it's Chris Potter. It's February 8th, 2017. I have a new presentation for you. Are there large objects close to the sun? Physicist Thoughts, let's begin. Hope you're having a great day there, boo. The song today is Time by Hans Zimmer. It's actually from the Inception original motion picture soundtrack. On January 29th, the sun had what seemed to be at first a small CME, coronal mass ejection, visible in these stereo A core 2 images as shown in figure 1 below. But as the apparent CME occurred, and which is indicated by the blue arrows here, 39, 1239, 1309, and 1439, showing that the circular object moving away from the sun retains its circular shape until it leaves the frame. Since core two objects, excuse me, since CORE-2 detects objects between 2 and 15 radii from the sun, we can conclude that the object, or plasma ball, or cheese sandwich, travels roughly 13 solar radii, or 9 million kilometers, in about 8 hours. So it traveled roughly at 1.1 kilometers per hour, or 314 kilometers per second. And this is about the same speed as the solar wind. It could be that the object was ejected by... which moved outwards from the sun, obviously. A dark circular mass or object, that word's being used very loosely here, became visible within the CME. Figure 2, Stereo A Core 2 images from January 29, 2017 at 824, 
showing a circular object moving away from the sun in what seems to be a CME on the right and a zoomed in view of the objects shown in the image on the left. Figure two shows the 824, okay, excuse me, figure three below shows the 824 or fifth image in figure one. On the left is an expanded and carried away from it with the CME. In conclusion, a circular solid object about the same size of the sun is seen moving away from the sun on January 29th, 2017. Figure four. Stereo A, core two images from August 18, 2014 at 2354 on the left and from January 29, 2017 at 1639 on the right. Again, a dark circular mass and its outline is visible in the right image, but not on the left. But this is not the end of the story because another circular, even darker outline is visible in all of the images shown in figure one to in figures one to three, excuse me, below the sun. Figure four below, okay, shows stereo A core version of the A24 image in figure one. On the right is an image providing a zoomed in view of the object of interest. The object clearly has a circular outline does not therefore seem to be produced by the plasma being ejected from the sun. The object's circular outline is visible in all the images detected by Core 2 from the time the object is first visible, 609 in the images shown in Figure 1, until it leaves the frame, suggesting, suggesting that it's a solid object. The object also seems to be at least the same size of the sun, Guesstimate, the size of the sun is indicated by the white circle at the center of the occulting disk. Figure three, stereo A, core two images from January 29, 2017 at 924, 1039, 